What's up guys? We are back at Denver Botanic Gardens. Omar is done. They're cleaned up. Water's flowing. We're checking this out for the very first time. They did an absolute amazing job. I can't even tell that we were here. Uh, the garden's open. People are starting to enjoy this again. Let's take a look and recap of everything that uh, was done and let's, let's see how this project went. Welcome to Heiner Outdoor Living. We're a team of yardists taking boring, cookie cutter yards and transforming them into one of a kind backyard retreats. Join us as we bring quality, passion, and fun to yards all across the Colorado Front Range, inspiring life outside. We're rebuilding the streams and we're, we've got the concrete meets the natural and the concrete has like this tooth texture to it and all this dimension and the water is going right up to it right now and this thing's so old that it's just got bare dirt beneath it I believe I don't know we weren't we're not we don't even know what's going to be beneath there until we drain it down and see but we have to find a way to bring our liner up attach it to it make it waterproof and then um, and then build it all back together without any liner showing and making it look natural So, uh, but we wanted to do it, uh, you know, the right way, obviously. No, so, uh, nothing like experimenting at the Denver Botanic Garden. I mean, right? imagine that. You know, like you, it's, you know, it's one thing to get invited out to like one of the most prestigious gardens in the world, but then to like come in here and like literally just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I personally think it's pretty nice because this is what project. This is our third project with them, like yeah. a large project. We've done mm -hmm. other small things with them, but this is our third big water feature project with them, and now we. I kind of have this rapport and this relationship with them where we can speak a little bit more openly, candidly. Mm -hmm. They trust us and we're able to come in and just say, we don't entirely know what we're going to do, but we know when we're done that we're going to have a good, um, like a good solution. And for them to have that trust to be like, there's nobody else we'd rather have touch this. I mean, that, that just shows like our execution over the years of what we've been able to deliver. And I, I, I look at that as a really nice compliment and I feel like it's humbling to know that you know that we've worked our place into this into this spot and that we get to like get to have these opportunities i got <laughs> <laughs> i filmed roof oh, we should have done that <laughs> this right here alone it just bolted in here dude lock into place this is All right, uh, I'm Matt with Heiner Outdoor Living and today we're at the Denver Botanic Gardens and we're sitting in the stream, the upper stream of the Japanese garden where the Monet uh, water gardens and the lilies feed the uh, upper stream that feeds into the Japanese pond. And we're here for a renovation project, strictly just trying to restore this 60 year old pond back or stream back to its glory days. It was leaking pretty significantly. And so we're here to help ensure that uh, the water is staying where it needs to go and recirculating. And so we're at the top of this, where, uh, of this project where the water comes in. Well, one of the things that was a surprise to us after we started construction here was just the amount of moisture and mud that was beneath the ground. Uh, we almost had, we had to actually call a, t a hard time out because we had about three feet of mud under where I'm standing. And, and when we were originally bidding and looking at this, we thought we would have just a few inches, uh, maybe a foot, but when we had two additional feet that we had to excavate along the entire stretch of this, we knew that we had to have a timeout meeting and just kind of regroup and just discuss what we had found. So. You know, we've crossed that, we figured it out. Uh, ultimately, what we had to do was dig down an additional two feet all the way along, haul away all that old mud, and then bring in uh, fresh soil that's gonna be compactable and structural, so that way we can rebuild and restore this stream back to what it used to be.
As we continue to work our way down, we're gonna start with the cobbles and really working on our outsides and then kind of disperse the stuff throughout the middle. You know, with, with this style of uh, rock work in Japanese stream, we're really trying to create a random look that's going on. And then once we get all the bigger stones in place, I like to use this three quarter and the smaller rock to just kind of toss in between the joints and uh, all the larger stone. That's gonna help lock it in. It's gonna help fill in those the rest of those gaps and it's gonna give it a, uh, a variation of the different size. So we're not just ended up ending up with a C of cobble, we actually have some interest, like when the, uh, as if the water was coming down, you know, for thousands of years, just eroding away and causing different layers and different uh, amounts of this sized rock. So you might be wondering like, how do we go from this, which looks like a big pile of rock to a finished product, a natural looking stream? And really the methodology behind it is strategically placing the bigger boulders on the outside, making it look like, you know, this is a stream being carved through the mountains. And ultimately what's gonna happen is when, once we fill this thing up with water, the water's gonna cover at least 75, 80% of this, leaving only kind of like the edges exposed with the rock. You know, the water will be clear, so you'll still see a lot of this rock work, but once we add the water in here, it's gonna be like the, the finishing touch that makes it look like what it's missing right now. build that way, build that, meet here in the middle, and, and then make the your seam. And then make so seam. why is it that we can't just overlap it? Why do we have to have a seam? Yeah, well, it's just one single, uh, It's it has like maybe a foot from point A over there to point B of just a, a peach. And so the reason that we can't just overlap it is because that water will sneak out it and go, find its way it'll out. find that overlap mm -hmm. and it'll find its way out. Yeah, so we actually have to put a seam on this liner mm -hmm. and kind of weld it together. Yeah, right? at this Is point. Is that what you're saying? So yeah, we have to weld we this together so that way this separate set of liner becomes uh, one, one single, single piece One of liner. single piece from point A to point B because of the elevation. It's just basically flat. The whole thing from, from over there to here. So. so what else do we have left to do after we finish this? We make our seam. We attach it to that and we rock this up. What else do we have left? Uh, there is some uh, few things that we need to do. Well, quite a bit. Feel uh, I would say two or three days of just uh, first going around the edge of the whole stream to kind of uh, break the whole thing up, make it look pretty, make it look pretty. And then we have our access way over there where, where we start. That is totally destroyed. So we got to do some edging, sod, uh, mulching, some areas over there in order to be done with that section and then over here um, we have our liner over here which needs to be attached to the bottom to the footing of this uh, uh, bridge as well in order to hold it up in place um, and the other attachment over there and, and then just think, things like all this needs to be cleaned up there's a lot of destruction that we did here in the entrance of all this machinery so a lot of aging um, Irrigation that we need to replace, some, some wiring, and, and of course the fence, uh, they need to be put back together. And a lot of cleaning in the street. So it's been a few days since uh, we've last checked up on Omar, and I can't believe how efficient these guys have been. We were like, I don't know, 50 yards that way, and now you can see behind me where we are. And so these guys have just made incredible progress in such a more short amount of time. We just finished up a meeting with, uh, with the garden uh, masters here at uh, Denver Botanic Gardens and they couldn't be happier with the look that's going. Uh, we're nailing the Japanese look and they're very pleased with uh, what Omar and crew have been doing. So what we got coming up next is 
We got the last bend, we got the last 30, 40, 50 feet. We got a bridge to put back. We still have a lot of cleanup and detail. I want to make this place look like we were never here. It's a renovation job, so really the idea is that this looks like it was before we even got here, but magically this stream just looks better than it was before.